Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I want us to read the scripture. And I know that God will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, our message, uh, our message, we give, the mes we give the title from the book of Isaiah 35, uh, 8. Isaiah 35, 8. That is where we give our message, the title. The Bible says, And a highway shall be there, and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for, but it shall be for others. Whoever, walk, whoever walks the road, or, or through, although a fool, shall not go astray. Amen? Amen. Nor I shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast go up on it. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sinning shall free away from them. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Mighty Father, Jehovah Jireh, the King of glory, the Redeemer, we want to glorify you, we want to praise you, to magnify your holy name, to praise you and to say that there is none like you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now Jehovah Lord, the Messiah, now Jehovah Lord, the King of glory, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, you who is the way, the truth, and the highway of the holiness and righteousness. We come before you for revelation. We come before you for the message, for the understanding of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Teach us, O God. Lord, teach us your word. Teach us your grace. Teach us your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Come against every spirit of rebelliousness, every spirit of destruction, every spirit of coming against your will. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus by fire, by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we pray, Jehovah, let your spirit take over of our soul, of our mind in Jesus' name. In a spirit of sleeping, in a spirit of discouragement, distraction, weakness in spirit, in a spirit of losing the focus, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and we cast you away in Jesus' name. Now we pray that we shall not miss the word, shall not miss your message in the name of Jesus. We do pray and believe. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the name of the Lord be blessed amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can somebody cross for me this window? For the sake of distraction, yeah. For the sake of distraction and for the sake of the word of God. For the message is ours, it is our fellowship, it is our word, not the yes. Amen? Amen. Isaiah 35, 8, uh, where the word of God says that a highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be, but it shall be for the others. Amen? Amen. Uh, the word of God says about the a highway of holiness which shall be there in the end time. And that highway of holiness shall be called the way of the road. Hallelujah. Shall be called the way of the road. And the Bible says it shall be called a highway of holiness. And, but it shall be for others. The, the unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for others. Who are others? The holy one. And, who, and those who walk on that road. Even fools will not go through that way. Even lions or anything that is devouring or revenous, anything unclean shall not pass through that way. Hallelujah. It shall be a way for those that are redeemed, a way of those that are cursed, a way of those who are pure. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying that in the end time days, there shall be a way of holiness, a highway of holiness. And this, in this highway of holiness, there shall not be unclean thing. There shall not be an unclean thing passing upon that way. It shall become a way of holiness, a road of holiness, a road of righteousness, a road of pure people, the way of the saint. That is, is the way that takes people to the kingdom of God. That is the way that takes people to heaven. And the Bible says that heaven is holy. So that way shall be holy, that road shall be road which is built of righteousness, which is built of holiness, which is built of the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the way for the saint in this hour. There are many ways out there. But if you are not in that way of holiness and righteousness, if you are not in that highway of, of holiness, therefore you might be the highway of hell. For there are two ways that God says that there are two ways. 
There are two ways. In the book of Matthew 7, 13, the Bible says that, uh, that there are two ways. Let me read the two ways so that you may come to understand that not all ways are called the highway of holiness. There are also another highway, the highway of hell. Proverb, uh, Matthew 7, 13, the Bible says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by it. Amen? Amen. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there, there are a few who find it. Amen? Amen? The Bible says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Amen. There is a broad way, and there, are, there is a narrow way. There is a narrow gate. Now we are speaking about this narrow gate. The narrow gate is the gate that connects to the highway of holiness. And there is, the other, there is a broad way, a broad gate, which connects to the highway of hell. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate, for the wide is gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go it by it. Many people, they are all in the highway of hell. The highway of churches of prosperity, the highway of messages of this world, the highway of gospel that does not prepare people to the kingdom of God. That is the highway of hell. The highway of people who are unclean, the highway of people who are abom abomination before God. That is the highway of hell. But the Bible says that few are they that find the gate, the gate to the highway of holiness. Few are they, because that, uh, that gate, the Bible says that gate, because the narrow is the gate, and the difficult is that way, which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Hallelujah. In the highway of holiness, they are, they are, they, it is very difficult. The gates to go through that highway, it is very difficult. And that gate goes to, to the highway of holiness. But that way, it is very difficult, and that is why many find it. Because it is a way that needs us to be holy. It is a way that needs us to be righteous. It is a way that needs us to be, to be right before God. It is a way that needs us to be perfect. It is a way, it is a road of holiness. A road, a highway of holiness that needs every person to watch out upon his way. To examine his way. So it is not a way that pleases the flesh. It is not a way that pleases the world. It is not a way that pleases even your, your own flesh. It is a way that is fighting with our own flesh. A way that is fighting even in the, with the world. A way that is fighting with the devil. The highway of, of holiness. It is a way of battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Spiritual battle each and every day. It is a difficult way. But that is the way that leads people to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory that I want to enter that kingdom. Glory that I want to go through that difficult way. Than to be in the comfortable way that goes to the highway of, of, of hell. I want to be, it is rather that I want to be in that way that is difficult. And then I enter heaven. Than to be in a comfortable way that leads to hell. Hallelujah. It is better that I be alone walking in the highway of holiness than to be with many people walking in the highway of hell. It is better, it is worthy for me that I may choose to walk alone than to walk with the multitude who are going to hell. It is worthy for me to lose the things of the world than to gain the world and go to hell. It is worthy for me to stand in that way of holiness and enter the kingdom of God. There is the name of the living God. Because today there are many highways, the highways of hell, the highways of hell, the highways of the churches that are forming and coming up. And there are churches that are without holiness, the churches that are a broad way to Satan, the churches that are a broad way to the devil, to the hell, with the teaching and deceptions of this world. Churches that does not rebuke sin. Churches that does not uh, preach righteousness. Churches that does not preach the real word of God. But they are compromising churches of the world. Churches of entertainment. But the Bible says that there shall be a way. There shall be a way. There shall be a road in the end time days. And this way shall be called the highway of righteousness. Hallelujah. The highway of righteousness. The highway of holiness. And the Bible says that the unclean shall not journey upon it. The unclean shall not walk through that way because it shall be called the highway of righteousness. The highway of holy people. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And therefore, this is the way that God is forming, and this is the way that God is building through the through the nation and through the all people through the races. That is the way that God is raising all people to join that way for them to be prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The revival has started because that way God is preparing it. God is connecting his people to the highway of holiness. Highway of holiness is not a church, brethren. Highway of holiness is not a denomination. Highway of holiness is not a church. It is the way of those who are holy. It doesn't matter the church that you are, but it matters when you connect yourself to the righteousness of God. To the holiness of God, you are connected to the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. So it is not denomination. It is not a church, but it is the way of those who are redeemed of God. That is the power that go to the kingdom of God. That is the power of the word of God which transforms people to walk in the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us hear Isaiah 35. Isaiah 35. Isaiah 35. Uh, starting 8. You will hear to understand. And an highway shall be there, and a way it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, uh, the, 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 the waffling men, thou fools shall not err in them. Hallelujah. The fools shall not go in that way. The unclean shall not go in that way. Hallelujah. It shall be for those that are redeemed, for those that are holy, for those that are sanctified, for those that are delivered. Amen. For those that are delivered in the highway of order of holiness, people should be delivered. It shall not be a way of people who are not delivered from sin, people who are not delivered from the world. It shall be the way of those people who have overcome the world. It shall, it shall be the way of the overcomers, people who have fought the battle. The battle of the flesh, the battle of the world, people who have come out from the world, they shall go through that highway of holiness, going to heaven, because they have overcome the world, they have overcome their flesh, they have overcome the devil, they have overcome the deception, the worldliness, the fashions of the world. They, it shall become a way of those who are really delivered. Hallelujah. That is why it says, it shall be called the way of holiness, and the fools shall not go through it. The unclean men shall not pass through it. Hallelujah. The unclean men shall not pass through it, for it shall be called the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the way that God is building in this end time. That is the way that God is releasing to his people in this end time. And that is the way that was seen, was, for, uh, was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah, he spoke about that way when he said that I, there will be a way in the book of Isaiah chapter 40. The Isaiah spoke about that way. He cleared that way. In the book of Isaiah 40, he said, Comfort your, you, comfort, yes, comfort my people. Say you are God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received from the Lord's heart double for her sin. Three. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Amen. A highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain shall be brought down. And the crooked place shall be made straight. And, th and, th and, uh, and the rough place shall be smooth. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the flesh shall see it, it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Isaiah spoke about that way. He saw that there will be a way, a way of holiness. He said, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight the desert. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight the desert. Make a uh, straight that desert. And he said, I have it for our God. Hallelujah. Make straight the desert. In the desert, you see in the desert, there are mountains and valleys like this. So when you, you prepare the desert, you make straight the path. The, he he comes to liberalize the path. He comes to, to, to straighten our path. He comes to straighten our way. Hallelujah. The church had fallen, or the church has fallen. But God is saying that prepare the way, make straight the path. Let the church of God be straight. Let the church of God be redeemed. Let the church of God be made holy. Hallelujah. Amen. 
prepare, prepare for the way of the Lord, for the highway of God, because our Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And he say, make straight the desert, a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. You see, every valley shall be exalted. There are people who are in the valley, people who are not seen. They shall be exalted. Hallelujah. Amen. People who need justice, people who need uh, the, cry, uh, the, the help of God, they shall be exalted. And all people shall come to see the glory of God because they are in highway of holiness. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. There is glory that is coming and there is glory in the highway of holiness. There is healing in the highway of holiness. There is a great revival in the highway of holiness. There is a great power in the highway of holiness. There is a great touch of God. There is a great anointing in the highway of holiness. For he say, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. Amen. And he say, the crooked place, the crooked place shall be made straight, and all the laugh place shall be made smooth. Hallelujah. That is the gospel in the highway of holiness. That is bringing people, people who are in the crooked way, they are being brought in the straight path. Amen. People who are walking in sin, they are now being converted and they are made holy by the word of God. There is a revival in the highway of holiness that is changing the Sre queen to become women of God. That is changing Adelira from Deborah. That is changing Jezebel to become a woman of God. Hallelujah. There is the power, the revival, the glory of God has come in this highway of holiness to bring people back to their God, to bring children back to their God, to bring them back to their faith, to bring them close to God. Hallelujah. That is the highway of holiness that we restore our world today. Hallelujah. Somebody cross that, that window for me. Cross it like that. Praise the name of the living God. It shall become the highway of holiness. It shall become the highway of righteousness. A highway whereby the sinners, they used to be the drunkard, but now they are women of God. They used to be uh, the, the robbers, but now they are men of God. They used to be people who are bound in the world, but now they will become the men of God. Don't, don't, don't get uh, be uh, distracted. Hallelujah. Amen. It shall be called the highway of holiness. Where people used to, where people, they did not uh, walk well with God. They shall walk once with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the highway of holiness. That God is saying that the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all the flesh shall see it together. Mm. All the flesh shall see it together. The India shall see. The Hindu shall see. The Egyptians shall see. Africa shall see, Asia, Europe, all people shall gather because the highway of holiness will come to re uh, refresh and to bring the glory of God back to the churches, back to the people of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Prepare. That is what he say. Prepare. That prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight the desert, a hive of our God. Every valley shall be exalted, for, and every mountain shall be, and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked prey shall be made straight, and the laugh prey shall be smooth. Hallelujah. Amen. God shall make, the rough places shall be made smooth. That is the power of the highway of holiness. That those who join, if they used to be rough in their way, God will make them smooth. If they used to, uh, uh, to, to, if, if they used to walk uh, bad uh, before God, their way shall be straight before God. Hallelujah. If their, pa if their, if their family were not restored, God will restore them. If their marriage had fallen, God will restore them. He will bring, he will prepare that way. And when he prepare, there will be restra uh, re re restoration. There will be restor restoration. There will be even what we call re reconstruction. There will be re reconstruction. Because when the way is being built, build, build, there is restoration. Re re Hallelujah. Reconstruction. God will reconstruct his people. Back to himself, back to righteousness, back to anointing of God, back to that way of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the way that God is saying. So if that is the way, God is saying that no evil shall go to that way. No unclean people shall walk in that way. It shall be the way of holy people. So you imagine that in that way there will be no evil. In that way, there will be no evil spirit. In that way, people will become will be all delivered. Oh, yes. So you can begin to sense the presence of God that will be walking in that highway of holiness. Mm. That is why the devil is against holiness. Mm. 
That is why the devil is against righteousness. That is why the devil is, is against his people. Because he knows that when his people will, will, will connect themselves to that highway of holiness, the glory of God shall be brought back to the church. Amen. The anointing of God shall be brought back to the church. Amen. The power, the glory, the fire of God will walk with his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He knows that we shall overcome when we connect ourselves in Amen. the narrow way that Amen. leads to heaven. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. He is called the way of holiness. And that way, not only Isaiah, even Jeremiah, he spoke and he saw that way that will be there in the end time days. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he spoke about way, that way. When he said that return to the ancient way, Jeremiah calls it the ancient way. Let us read in the book of Jeremiah 6. In the book of Jeremiah 6, he say, he called it the, uh, the ancient way, the ancient path. Jeremiah 6. Jeremiah 6. Jeremiah 6. 16. 16. Uh -huh. The Bible says this. Thus says the Lord, stand in the way and see, and ask for the old path. Ask for the old path. Ask for the ancient path. Where is the good way is, and walk in it. Then you will find the rest for your soul. Yes, hallelujah. Look at that. That is uh, that, that Jeremiah say that stand in the way and see and ask for the ancient path. Where is the good way? And walk in it and you will find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a good way. There is the ancient way that is called the holiness of righteousness. Uh, the highway of holiness or the highway of God. That is the ancient way. The ancient path. The Lord, the, Jeremiah says to them, when they had forsaken that way, that now return, return to the ancient way, and you shall find the peace. That is where you shall find the rest. Hallelujah. Amen. People want to be told many things of this world. They want to be comforted with lies. They want to be comforted with entertainment. They want to be comforted with the things of the world. But Jeremiah told them that return to the ancient way. Return to the ancient path. Return to the, back to righteousness. Return back to holiness. Return back to, uh, to godliness. Return back to the fear of God. That is where you shall find rest. That is where you shall see the way. That is where there is the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Today people, today churches is foreign. Today people, are, today churches are foreign. Today men of God are foreign. And what they need to hear, it is to return back to the ancient path. Oh, yes. To reconnect themselves back to the highway of righteousness. Back to, to, to that door. Back to that uh, 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 gate, or the narrow gate that leads to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the way that God is calling his people to return to. And when you return, there is the rest. You shall find the rest of your soul. You shall find the peace. You shall find the health. You shall find the grace. You shall find the power. Restoration. Everything that we desire is in the highway of holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Righteousness. The highway of righteousness. The highway of repentance. The highway of obedience. The highway of faithfulness. The highway of the fear of God. Everything that we need, the glory of God is in that highway of holiness. And the power of God is in that highway of holiness. So I don't know why that the churches, they don't want to join that highway of holiness. And that is where real healing, real miracles, real power, real anointing is in the highway of holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. The, uh, Jeremiah the prophet is telling them, stand in the way and see. That stand in the way and go back to the crossroad. Look at the crossroad. Look at back to the way and ask where is the good way? Where is the ancient way? You know the truth that they, those people, they were suffering. You see? This is when they were suffering. This is when God was destroying them because of their sin. Because of their rebelliousness, because of their disobedience, hallelujah, people are suffering in our world. The church is suffering in our world. The nation is suffering. And they need to hear this, that where you may find less, where you may find peace, where you may find restoration, where you may find the health, where you may, you may, you may find our grace and power, it is back to righteousness, back to holiness, back to repentance, back to the ancient way. 
Hallelujah. That is where they will come to find peace. The peace of God is in righteousness. The peace of God is in holiness. The peace of God is when you, your ways are good with God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that when, 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 when you are at peace with God, even, the enemy, even God, will, God will make your enemy to be at peace with you. Amen. That when you, you are light with God, God will fight for you. But when you do, you are not fight with, you are not right with God. God will forsake you, and God told His people Israel that if you walk with Me, I will walk with you. Oh yes. If you forsake Me, I will forsake you. You see that if you walk with God, God will walk with you. But if you forsake God, He will also forsake you. Hallelujah. Amen. What we see today, it is a, a result of people abandoning God. Women are abandoning God. The church abandoning God. Countries abandoning God. They have forsaken their God. And that is why we have diseases, strange diseases. Strange diseases, strange things that are happening to our nation. Strange judgment and famine. Because they have forsaken the way of peace. The way of restoration. The way of good health. The way of goodness. The way of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the only solution that in our nation, the only solution in the church, the only solution in our world is to return back to the ancient path, back to the highway of holiness, where we shall find peace, where we shall find forgiveness. Hallelujah. And the Bible says the good path. You see, he say, he says this. Find, you see, and ask for the old ask for the ancient path. Ask for the old path. Where the good way is and walk in it. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The ancient path where the good way is. Hallelujah. Amen. Where the good way, the good path, which is that good path that God is saying. The good path that women used to walk with. The good path that women used to walk in the good path. Mm. The good path of holiness. Mm. The good path of the modesty. The, go the modesty of a woman. Mm. The righteousness of a man. Mm. The fear of a man. The holiness of a man, the faithfulness of a man. Let us ask the good way, the modesty, the ancient path, where you, people used to fear God, where preachers used to fear God, where people used to worship in spirit and truth, where people used to worship God without impurity. Hallelujah. Without, uh, without, uh, without hypocrisy. Where uh, people used to worship God without revenge, without anger, without bitterness. Where people used to worship God without strife. Hallelujah. Amen. Where uh, you, people used to worship God without deception. That is where God is saying, enter and ask the ancient path, the good path. That is where you find the, right, the rest. And Jesus says that come to me, all you who are weary with, 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 with burden, and I will give you rest. Where will you be given rest if it is not in the highway of holiness? Where will you, will you be given the rest if it is not to return in the highway of righteousness? If it is not to return in the ancient path? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to have peace, but you are in deception. Mm. You want to have peace, but you are in deception in the world of the churches. In the world things, in the passions and the world things, there is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. Oh, yes. Isaiah answered them and said, there is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. Mm. Therefore, peace is found in the highway of righteousness. Oh, yes. Peace is found in the highway of holiness. Yeah. Dear brothers and my sisters, when you start going away, when you start moving in the highway of holiness, there is no peace. You start crying. You start having uh, things that are telling you that you, ha you, are, you, ha you, have, you have come out from the way of, of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You are away of that path. Mm. It is like a train. A train. When a train moves out, out of the rail, yes. that train will, uh, will begin hitting the stone mm. and, and crashing. Amen. When you start crashing and roaring, know that your time is near mm. and the time has come for you to go back mm. to the ancient path. Hallelujah. To the way of holiness, to the way of righteousness, to the way of faithfulness, to the way of obedience to God, to the way of the fear of God. That is where there is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying that, he, that, 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 that in the book of Isaiah 6, 16, uh, 16, that stand in the way and see and ask for, ask for the old path, where the good way is. Where men of God used to, used to preach for people to get to heaven. 
where men of God used to preach for people to be prepared for that kingdom. They used to rebuke sin. They used not to compromise with the world. They did not compromise. They did not entertain. They were not doing drama in the church. They were not entertaining people, but they were preaching the real, the, 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 the real word of God. Hallelujah, the real word of God. Without, uh, without compromising, without entertainment, without partiality, they used to call a folk a folk and a spade a spade. That is the way of ancient path. That is the highway of holiness. That the people there, they speak the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying the only way that we shall find peace, the only way that we shall find the glory, the anointing of God, the power of God, it is in the way of holiness. You want to be anointed. You want to be gifted. You want to walk with the power of the end time. But you are in deception. You are still in the world. Come out of sin. For the Bible says that in that way, no unclean thing shall walk in that way. It shall be only for those that are redeemed. Those that are delivered. Those that are clean and holy. They are they that walk in that highway of holiness. They are they that experience the glory of God. They are they that experience the power of God over their life because they have chosen to walk with God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why I say, I saying, uh, 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 this man is saying that and ask for the old path where the good way is and walk in it. Then you will find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. You will find rest for your soul. And that is where you see that even Isaiah that 5, 8 is saying that there will be a highway and a highway shall be called the way of God. A highway shall be called the highway of righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. A highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you unclean shall not pass through it. Hallelujah. The unclean shall not pass through it. It shall be for those people who are holy. For those people who are pure before God. Hallelujah. People who have been redeemed. So if you are not ready to be a, a pure, you cannot journey in that highway of holiness. If you are not carefully walking your way, if you are not carefully watching your ways, you cannot join in the highway of holiness. If you are not carefully walking in the righteousness of God, you cannot join in the highway of holiness. If you are not clean in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your body, you cannot be in that highway of holiness. If you are walking in sin, you cannot go in that highway of holiness. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a highway of holiness that consists of people who are totally separated from sin. Totally separated from worldliness. Totally separated from the flesh. Mm. That is a way whereby people who have grudges, bitterness, pride, immorality, lasting, will not journey in that way. It shall be called a highway of holiness. A highway of righteousness. A highway whereby people there, they don't mention sin. They don't mention wickedness. They don't mention worldliness. They journey there and they speak only one thing, holiness and righteousness is what come in their mind. Their conduct is holiness. Their ways is holiness. Their mind is holiness. Their heart is holiness. Their dressing is holiness. Everything that they do, they do it in holiness. And that is the way of holiness. Their song is holiness each and every day. Their prayer is holiness each and every day. Oh God, make me holy. Oh God, purify me. Their song, their prayer is the, the, the prayer of David. Oh God, search my heart. Make me pure. As, uh, 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 look, uh, look my, my heart. My, my, the meditation of my, of, my, of, my, of my tongue, of my, my heart. Let it be pure. They are in that highway of holiness. People cry for holiness. People cry for, for righteousness. People seek righteousness. People seek the kingdom of God. And it's righteousness. That is the way that God is saying that there shall be a highway of holiness. And that highway of holiness, it shall not matter with the people who are there. It shall not matter with the multitude. It shall not matter with the number. What will matter is righteousness. What will matter is holiness. For the, he say that, that that way, it is a narrow way. And few find them. Few find that way. Few find that way. Because it shall be for those who want to totally separate themselves from the world. Hallelujah. 
Look at that. He said, no unclean thing shall walk in that way. Proverbs 16, 17. Proverbs 16, 17. You hear. You hear the mystery of that way. You see, many people, they are, they are just joining holiness like a church. Saying we are in highway of holiness. If you join uh, uh, this, uh, if you join the highway of holiness like a church, you will get you will get astray, because of where they are going to where, where churches are called highway of holiness, where churches are called holy. If you are finding, if you are seeking for those things, you will go, you will be deceived. Hallelujah! Amen. For this is a way that need. It is a personal way. It is a personal way. It is not about church. It is not about uh, uh, people. It is a personal place. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Let us read in the book of Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16, 17. The Bible says this. Here. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. Amen? Amen. The highway, the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say? That the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. Amen? Amen. So you begin to understand that if you know, if you want to know who the, that, highway of, uh, that highway of holiness, it is not a church. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not a church. The Bible says, the highway of upright is to depart from evil. So if you will depart from evil, you will be in the highway of holiness. You will be in the highway of the righteous one. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the secret. The secret of the highway of holiness, it is not the church, it is not denomination, it is not a ministry. The highway of righteousness, the highway of holiness, the Bible says the highway of upright is to depart from evil. It is a personal way to depart from all unclean, to depart from worldliness, to be depart from all evil. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. The fear of God is the beginning of joining yourself in the highway of holiness. Amen. So it doesn't matter. People they say, oh, I am in the highway of holiness, but are you departing from evil? Mm -hmm. I am in the holiness, of, I, am the in the, I am in the ministry of holiness, I am in the ministry of righteousness, I am in the ministry of repentance, I am in the ministry of highway of holiness, our church is called highway of holiness, that does not matter. Hallelujah. Yes. That does not matter. Mm -hmm. What God is saying, the highway of upright is to depart from evil. Yes. What matters, are you separated from evil? Mm -hmm. Are you watching your life? Mm -hmm. uh, is your way clean before God? Mm -hmm. Is your heart pure before God? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you walking in the fear of God? That is what matters. It is not the church. Oh, me, I belong to holiness. Me, I belong to deep paradise. Me, I belong to this church. Of deeper life, me I belong to this church of whoever of the chosen one. Mm. All those titles do not matter. What matters is are you departing from evil? Mm. Are you walking in holiness? Are you maintaining your salvation? Are you working your, your, your life in fear of and trembling? Mm. Hallelujah! Amen. Are you guarding your step? Are you guarding your tongue? Mm. Are you guarding your heart from impurity? Are you guarding your eyes from evil, from abomination? Mm. For we are told that in the highway of holiness, no unclean will pass through that thing. No unclean person who is unclean in his mind, unclean in his eyes, unclean in his heart, unclean is in his body, unclean even in his marriage, will not journey in that way. Oh, yes. Hallelujah! Oh, yes. It is a way that, that requires us to know it is a personal walk with the God. It is not about the church. Oh, I belong to Holy Bread said. Oh, I belong to our church. Oh, I belong to this church, which is called holiness. That doesn't guarantee you to see that kingdom. It does not guarantee you to be in that highway of holiness. What guarantee you is this. Are you, are you departing from evil? Are you, are, is, are you walking in holiness? Are you working out your salvation in fear and trembling? Hallelujah. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. Amen? Amen. That is his highway. To depart from evil. 
to depart from every evil things of the world, the rust of the flesh, the, the evil desires of the flesh, the sexual immorality. That is the way of holiness. For in this hour, in this end time, we see that people, they are in the church, but they are still lasting. Lasting at women, lasting at men. People are worshipping there, but there is rusting in the church. There is immorality in the church. There is pornography in the church. There is even abomination in the church. Abortion in the church. They are aborting and then they go back to the pulpit and they preach. They are aborting and then they go and they stand at front and they start praising God and worshipping. That is not the way of holiness. The Bible says there shall be a way of holiness and clean shall not pass through it. Those who are bought shall not stand through it. Those who are bought, those who, who commit adultery, fornication, those who do masturbation, those who watch pornography, those who commit all those evil things, they shall not pass in that way. It shall be called the way of holiness. The only the pure, the redeemed shall walk there. The delivered from the world shall walk there. It shall not be a way of unclean. Unclean garment, unclean growth that they are wearing. They are wearing growth that are revealing their body shape. Growth of, that are stained with immorality, with the sexual sin. Growth that are, are, are seducing men. Growth of prostitute. Fashions that are unclean before God. That is not the highway of holiness. That is the highway of hell. And I tell you that come out of the highway of hell. Come out of that church which call itself that they are going to heaven, but there is no holiness, there is no righteousness. People there are unclean. Men of God are unclean. Cheating, cheating, marriage and remarriage. They are the preachers, but they are marrying and remarrying. They are marrying and remarrying. They are divorcing, remarrying, and doing again and again. That is a way of unclean, and that is not the highway of holiness, but the highway of hell. Bible says there shall be a there shall be a way, and that way shall be called the highway of holiness, and unclean shall not pass through it. Hallelujah. A man who commit adultery shall not stand there and preach. A man who commit adultery fornication shall not stand there and preach. It shall be a way of holy people. People who are not blamed. People who are totally separated from sin, from every brains. Hallelujah. Because they shall be worshipping God who is holy. And their God is holy, their God is perfect, like we are perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why God is saying that no unclean thing shall pass in that way. Amen. If your heart is unclean, people used to, to be in the church, and in the church you find that people are carrying each other. Bitterness, fighting each other, fighting against this one, and other people are holding unforgiveness in their heart. Oh, yes. This is not the way that God is saying. The way that we are walking right now is a way of holiness and righteousness. It's the highway of holiness. There is no place for bitterness. There is no place for unforgiveness. There is no uh, place for strife in the body of Christ. There is no place for pride. There is no place for revenge. There is no place for bitterness in the house of God. It is a highway of holiness. It is the altar of God which consumed by the, with the fire. It is the way that Moses saw when he saw the burning bush. When Moses was joining the highway of holiness, Moses saw the burning bush and God told him, this way is holy. You are now about to join the highway of holiness. Now let you, now uh, take off your shoe because the place that you are, you are about to step, the way that you are about to join, it is the highway of holiness. Therefore, you need to stripe off your, your shoe, your shoe of, of, of filthiness, your shoe of uh, abomination, your shoe of jealousy, your shoe of envy, your shoe of uh, unforgiveness, your shoe of lust, your shoe of fornication, your shoe of uh, adultery, your shoe of hatred, your shoe of lying, your shoe of drunkenness, your shoe. Hallelujah. Because what you are about to join is holy. And I am a God who is consuming fire. I cannot do it with the unclean. I consume the unclean. So if you dare join this way, you will be destroyed by God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. If you dare join this way, mixing yourself, where you are defining yourself, you cannot serve God in that way. God will strike you. In the highway of holiness, there is no cheating. In the highway of holiness, there is no cheating. In the highway of holiness, you cannot cheat the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. 
in the high of holiness. That is where you see that Ananiah and Sapphira, when they joined the high of holiness, they, did, they were not aware that in the high of holiness, you need to stripe lies, stripe of lying. They came before God in the high of holiness and they stood in the altar in, in front of the man of God and they lied the Holy Spirit that they have, this is the part, this is the only share that they have sold for their, for, for their, for their land. And they lied against the Holy Spirit and God strike them because in the high of holiness, God is saying there shall be no unclean. There shall be no liars. There shall be no people who deceive. There shall be no people who are wicked. There shall be no hypocrites in the high of holiness. For God will cleanse them. For God will destroy them. He will clear. He will sweep his people. He will sweep the church. He will sweep his nation. He will sweep the altar of God. And the deception shall not be there. Hallelujah. Amen. And he also say that in that highway of holiness, in that high of holiness, no unclean thing shall pass through it. And he also say that whoever walks in that road, even a fool will not walk in that ro road. Even a fool, there sh it shall be called a way of people who are wise. The wise virgin, not fools. Not fools. People who are still uh, 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 complaining to the Holy Spirit, they are fool. People who are still doubting the word of God, there it shall not be a way of the foolish virgins. People who are not who are careless, like the foolish virgins, misusing the anointing, misusing their oil, they are not watchful. They are the foolish virgins, virgins. That is not the way of holiness. The way of holiness, it is for the wise people who understand when God say, He say. Who understand when God say we are moving, they start moving. The way of holiness, it is for people who are wise. People who understand when the Holy Spirit is speaking, when the Holy Spirit is saying yes, when he's saying no, they understand. They are people who are walking in the Holy Spirit of God and they know they have the ear to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He say, no foolish shall journey in that way. Mm. And also he said this, and no lion, no lion shall be there. Mm. Or any ravenous beast go up in it, it shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk in there. Hallelujah. Amen. No rion. Thank you, Jesus. That no rion. No anybody that is devouring. No anybody that is purposing to destroy the church of God shall journey in the highway of holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. No witch shall stand in that church. No even the, the powers of darkness shall stand against that church. Against that highway of holiness. No uncanny people. No people who are of people who of, of destroying. People of devouring, people of devouring the church, people of devouring Israel, she shall not prevail over that way. Hallelujah. But it shall become a way of holiness, a way of righteousness, where people are going in the way of God, where people are respecting God, where people are having the love of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. There shall not be lion or any, any beast or any devouring beast. Any revenous beast is any beast that harm people. Mm. Whereby you see, and you find that, that in the brethren or in the fellowship, that there is somebody who is causing division. There is somebody who is fighting against the movement or fighting, fighting against the work of God. You find it where that there is somebody who is causing harm in the body of Christ. That is a lion which is, is devouring, which is harming and attacking people. Hallelujah. Amen. There shall not be such kind of a person in the highway of holiness. God will reveal them. God will expose him. God will expose them. God will reveal them. God will destroy them. He will separate them from his people. Because it shall be called a highway of holiness. No evil shall prevail upon that highway of holiness. For God will be the one, the captain, leading his people to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah! Amen. That is why the God is saying, the, 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 the anything that defies will not pass through that way. In the churches today, you will see that the people are there. And there are a lot of uncreen spirit that are in those churches. In those churches. Uncreen people who are there. 
People who look like lion with nails, artificial nails, addition nails like this, like lions, they are devouring. But I thank God that in the highway of holiness, there shall not be any devouring thing, anything to harm you, anything to scratch you. There shall not be. Hallelujah. But in the highway of hell, that is where all those images are. The false image, the false uh, attachment, mm. the false hair, mm. the false beauty, the makeup, yes. the nails like of lion, the clothes of devouring. That is where in the high of hell, that in the broad way that leads to hell, that is where those people are mm. going to hell. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The witches are there with their nails. Mm. The wizards are there with their nails. The Jezebel spirit is there. The slave queen are there with their immoral clothes and their seducing garment. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The false prophets are there. The entertainers are there. The comedians are there mm. who used to entertain the church. Mm. That is the highway of hell. Mm. But in the highway of holiness, mm. there shall be no entertainment. Yes. There shall be no dramas. Mm. There shall be no such things, such clothes which are immoral, such clothes which are of deceiving, such clothes and attires of prostitutes. Mm. There shall be no deception in the, holiness, in the highway of holiness. It shall be a way of righteousness, pure. Mm. People in the highway of holiness, they shall rejoice how God created them. They shall give glory to God. They shall glorify God with the book of Psalms and they shall say that I am fearful and wonderfully created by God. I am fearfully and created and wonderfully created by God. I am proud of how God has created me. I am proud of my eyes. I am proud of my mouth. I would change my mouth. I would change my nail. I am proud of the hair that God has given me. They are proud of how God has created them because that is the highway of holiness where they say we are fearfully and wonderfully created by God. And in the eyes of God, we have no error. We have no uh, mistake. We cannot correct God by the makeup, by the, the, the coloring of the hair, by the coloring of the tooth, by, by, by those artificial things and the worldly things. Hallelujah. This shall be called the highway of holiness, no unclean, no riots with a false hair, no riots with a false, uh, false face, false beauty, no riots with a false buttocks, no riots with a false breast of plastic and silicone breast, no riots with those, uh, 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 those, those plastic bum bum. <laughs> Hallelujah. No riots shall join in it because it shall be called a highway of holiness. No unclean thing shall, shall pass in that way. And it shall be for those that are redeemed. They are redeemed. They are delivered from the fashions of the world. They are, uh, they are delivered from even the false prophet. They are delivered from the things of the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the way. And when they will be walking that way, they shall be restored back to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the way, the way that Jesus Christ said that look, that the prostitute will come and enter before you, and they will enter. That they that were last shall be the first. The prostitute will change, and they will dress well, they will be crested, they will be, they will be clean, God will purify them, God will sanctify their heart, their life, the robbers, the drunkard, people who are homosexual, who people who are lesbian, they will, be, they will be delivered, they will be transformed, and they will join in the highway of holiness. And they will leave those people there in, their, in those highways, those preachers, where by their preaching prosperity, those people who have become me, who have become so familiar with the God, they will be left there with their cults, with their churches, with their titles, with their pastors, with their prophets and apostles, and they will join in the highway of holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the highway of holiness that is transforming people to become who they are today. It is the highway of holiness. When you connect yourself with the highway of holiness, my dear brother and my sister, your conduct will change. Your dressing will change. Your speaking will change. Your heart will change. Your mind will change. Your life will totally be transformed. If you have really uh, joined in that highway of holiness, your life will change. Your marriage will change. Your business will change. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Because in that way, no unclean thing shall walk in it. Unclean job, unclean marriage shall not walk in that way. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it shall be called the higher of holiness. And this is the way that Paul the apostle says in the book of 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Let us see. That is the way that Paul say, uh, he said about it when he spoke about uh, uh, the, the unrighteous. Yeah, and when he was saying those things, he was not speaking to the unrighteous. He was speaking to people, to people who are, who, are, who know God. First Corinthians 6, 9. 6, 9. First Corinthians 6, 9. 6, 9. The Bible says, uh -huh. Do, uh, for, for, even when we can start uh, as, uh -huh. let us read First Corinthians 6, 9. Uh -huh. The Bible says, Don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't be deceived. Neither the fornicators. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. No idolaters. No adulterers, or homosexual, or sodomites, or thief, or covetous, or drunkard, or revilers, or extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This is the high of holiness that Paul is speaking about it. That no, neither for, uh, don't you know, don't be deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers. Adulterers, homosexual, sodomites, or thieves, covetous, drunkard, revilers, or extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. He's telling them that those are the regulations. Those are, 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 the, are, the, are, the, are the characters or, or they are the features, features of saying they that will walk in the highway of holiness. Amen? Amen. No fornicators, no thief there, no adulterers or idolaters. No, even uh, uh, these people who have called them homosexual, sodomites, they will not journey there. They will not enter the kingdom of God. They will not pass in the highway of holiness. And I wonder to, today that churches are embracing and they are joining themselves, hearing that we have priests, priests who are sodomy, priests who are lesbian, pastors and churches of lesbian, homosexual in the church. They are uniting them in the church. Don't they know the scripture says, don't be deceived that neither fornicators, adulterers, homosexual, sodomite, even if they will not enter the kingdom of God. And that way of highway of holiness, there is no homosexual. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people who, it is for a way of people who are pure. If it's marriage, it is a marriage of, of a man and a wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Not a marriage of wife and a wife. Not a marriage of a man and a man. That is not the highway of holiness, but the highway of hell. The highway of hell, it is a sewage. The highway of a hell, of hell, it is a sewage. A sewage for all abomination. A sewage for all wickedness. A sewage for all filthiness. A sewage of shame. A sewer, a sewage for all unclean and abomination. And a sewage for unclean things. And that sewage is passing to the churches today. The churches, homosexual, the churches, lesbianism, the churches, they are worshipping idols, the churches, robbing people, the churches, entertainment, the churches, wildliness. That is the sewage that is passing to the church of the Broadway. Hallelujah. Amen. But the church of God in this hour will connect itself with the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. Amen. For he said that don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't you know the unrighteous will not inherit the kindom of God. Don't be deceived. Mm -hmm. Neither fornicators. Mm -hmm. You find that today that you are a Christian but you are fornicating. You are a Christian but you, you have boyfriend and girlfriend. Your pastor does not know. Even your mother does not know. Or he may know. But you are fornicating with the boyfriend and girlfriend. That is the highway of hell. There shall nothing be like that in the highway of holiness. Amen. For fornicators shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. Sex before marriage shall not inherit the kingdom of God. 
Kissing before marriage shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Masturbation shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Pornography, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. In the highway of holiness, the way to heaven, if you want to enter heaven, you must separate yourself from all unclean things. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying, and even Paul was saying, that in that way, in that way of righteousness, in that way of holiness, he was, uh, he was teaching his people that no immoral people should be in this place. Mm. Hallelujah. He used to tell them how they, uh, they, they should behave and how they should stand. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. Uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 5, 11. Hear this. You will hear. He's speaking about it. Uh -huh. Let us start at 9. 5, 1 Corinthians 5, 9 saying, I wrote to you in my epistle not to keep company with the sexual immoral people. You see? The highway of holiness. Not to keep yourself company with the immoral people. Mm -hmm. There are people who are in groups. Groups of social media. There are people who are in those groups. Group of immoral people. Whereby they send jokes. They send entertainment. They send, send immoral people and they discuss immorality. Saying it is a discussion of relationship. But it's immorality. Where people, you, you, where they, they, they take your number and they start messaging you. Because of those group of immoral people. Where there are immoral people, immoral men, immoral, immoral women. Who, who will send a picture to you. And they will send immoral picture. They will send even pornography. New the picture. Come out of those immoral group. For God is saying, I wrote to you in my epistle not to keep company of the sexual immoral people. Hallelujah. Amen. In the highway of holiness, there is no immorality. In the highway of holiness, it is not, not even be mentioned among you. Among the holy people. Amen. Amen. He said, yet I certainly did that. Yet I certainly did not mean with the sexual immoral people of this world. You see? Or with the covetous or exos or adulterous, since they, then you would not need to go out of the world. But now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexual immoral. Hallelujah. I now warn you not to keep yourself a company with any brother, any sister who call himself a saint, a believer, but is in sexual sin, immorality, fornication. And he said, but now I write to you to keep, to keep away, not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral, covetous, a daughter, or a, believer, or a drunkard, uh, a, a drunkard, or an extortioner, not even to eat with such a person. Hallelujah. Amen. Not even to eat with such a person. Mm -hmm. In the highway of holiness, you cannot eat with a drunkard. Mm -hmm. In the highway of holiness, you cannot eat with a, such a person. And this person, he called himself a believer. Mm. Amen? Mm. He called a, himself a believer, but he is in immorality. He is, or she is in adulterer. He is in drunkard. He is in unclean way. Paul is saying that not even to eat with such a person, I warn you, don't be in one company with those people. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what he's saying. And also in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 5.3, you will hear what he's saying. He's giving warning. Warning because there are warnings. There are instructions. Hallelujah. Amen. Before joining the highway of holiness. Don't joke with the highway of holiness. It is not a way of the world. Uh -huh. Ephesians 5.3. Ephesians 5.3 the Bible says, But fornication and all uncleanness, all covetousness, let it not be even named among you as fitting for the saints. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Not even be mentioned at you. Let it not even be mentioned on, for you, for you are saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even foolish talking in the highway of holiness should not be allowed. Amen. Not cause, nor cause jesting. Cause jesting. What is called jesting? Cause jesting. Cause jesting. I don't know if it's slandering. I don't know. Cause jesting or joking. Which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. For he say, 
For this you know that no fornicator or unclean person or covetous man who is an idolater, idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty word. For because of those things, the love of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be partakers with them, my dear brother and my sister. For the high of holiness, it is a way that does not joke. The spirit of God is there. The glory of God is there. So don't try to misuse the glory of God, the grace of God that you are being given in the highway of holiness. Saying, oh, I have been given the grace of God since I joined the highway of holiness. I have received the grace. That grace is not for drunkardness. That grace is not for immorality. That grace is not for worldliness. That grace is not for walking with the people who are stradas, people who are unclean. Hallelujah. Amen. That grace is not for foolish talking. That grace is not for dramas. It is not for entertainment. That grace is not for joking. That is a grace which is for taking you to the kingdom of God. Amen. A grace for purifying you. A grace for making you to be pure, to be holy, to be perfect before the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why he say, no deception, no liars, no jokers, no comedy, no unclean thing will pass in that way. The highway of holiness. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. That is the difference between the broad way of Satan and between the highway of, of righteousness, the highway of holiness. The highway of holiness, there are people who are crying, they are seeking God. They want to be filled. They want to work with God. They want to do what God called them to do. There are people who don't want to use God, but there are people who want God to use them. Hallelujah. But in the highway of hell, in the broad way that leads to hell, in that broad way, there are people who are there who want to use God. They got born again to use God. Don't you know that? They got born again to use God. Yes. Now, I want to, God, I want to use God. God, I'm, I'm saying this, do for me this. God, do, you see, they want to use God to use his blessing, to use his protection. But they, are, they don't want to be used. Hallelujah. But for the highway of holiness, there are people who are telling God, God, use me. Let your will be done. Use me. Your will be done. Hallelujah. Amen. Lead me in this way. Let me go in your way. I don't care what it, come, it will come of me in that way. Either death, either persecution, either trials. Lord, use me to glorify yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. They are not taking Jesus Christ. Like a, like, 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 like a, a businessman. Like a businessman. As if they have deal. They are people who totally want to be used by God. Not to use Jesus. But they want Jesus to use them. Hallelujah. Amen. That is how we should become people who are, who are walking in the highway of holiness. Telling God, use me. Mold me. Let your will be done. Direct me. Walk with me. Lord, I need you that you may use me. Lord, to fulfill your will. To, fru to fulfill what you have called me to do. To be. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people tell God, who tell God, let your will be done. I am just a piece of clay. And you are the daughter. Hallelujah. Amen. They want to be used by God. They don't want to use, to use God. Hallelujah. Amen. And they have given their body as a sacrifice before God. Their body are a temple of the Holy Spirit. But the people in the broad way to hell, the highway of hell, they have given their body as instrument of unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Unrighteous instrument of wickedness. Mm -hmm. They are being used as instrument of devil, instrument of the sexual sin, instrument of wickedness. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil is using their body to, to promote sexual sin, to promote wildliness, to promote drunkenness. Hallelujah. Amen. But we, they that want to be used to join the highway of holiness, know that this way it is for you to be used by God, to present your body as the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Clean and pure. For your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. No worldliness shall be found in that way. 
No worldliness shall be found in that way. Entertainment of the world, the immoral programs, the movies, the entertainment, the chains of slavery of TV, that you cannot live without TV. You are not ready to join the, whole, the highway of holiness. Praise the name of the living God. In the highway of holiness, there is no entertainment. There is no entertainment, there is no addictions of TV, of programs, and all those things. In the highway of holiness, there are people who are totally separated with, from the worldliness, from the social medias. They only want to glorify God and to praise Him. Amen? Amen. How dare that people today, they are joining the worldly people, calling themselves they are, are in the church. They are Christian, but they are joining themselves with the worldly people sitting in, uh, in front of a TV and watching the worldly movie, the worldly programs that in, is in the name of relationship. Watching the rebellious, the company of the evil men. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us come out from those soap opera. Let us come out from those movies. Let us come out from those things, the action movie, saying that you are watching Afro cinema. Saying that you are watching, no, come out of them. Because in the highway of holiness, there shall not be found unclean thing. Unclean image, unclean video, unclean song. Anything that defies, anything that does not glorify God, it shall not be mentioned in the highway of holiness. Amen. That should be for those who want to see the kingdom of God. Amen. But if you don't care, you just continue. But you will miss the kingdom of God. People are straining with the prayers, straining to fast, striving how they want to work with God. But movies, the TV has bounded their mind and their heart. What is destroying them? What is sucking their anointing? What is sucking their power, their power to fast, their power to, uh, to, to, to serve God? It is the TV, that program, the social media, the entertainment, the drama. Hallelujah. And you say, oh, pastor, pray for me. Do I, I, I am not praying like I used to pray. I don't have that desire. I don't, I don't know what is happening in my life. But you, are, you have exposed yourself to the world, to the TV, to the programs of the world. Come out of the TV. Come out of those things. Mm. If you want to walk well with God and to walk with the, uh, with the holiness of God. For those things, they are against our, our, our spirit. The flesh is against the, flesh, the spirit. Mm -hmm. The TV is the world. It is a gadget of the world. And it, it is against your spirit. Against those who want to inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It is against the saints who are purifying themselves. When you think that you have purified yourself, when you think that you have repented, the TV comes and, and, and cleans you. It comes and exposes you. It ex exposes you for, to, to nudityness to foolish talk, to blasphemy, to mocking of God. Where do you say you are being entertained? You are being entertained, but you are mocking Christ with the mockers. When they are entertaining, when they are doing comedy, they are mocking our Lord Jesus. They are mocking the gospel. They are hackers. That is defying, defying the spirit, defying God, and you are becoming part of those who are fighting against God. Joining yourself to Antichrist. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us separate ourselves from all worldliness. Because the Bible says in the book of James 4, 4, that don't you know, don't you know, that to be afraid with the world, it is to be an enemy of God. And if anybody want to be afraid of the world, afraid of those things, the worldly things, the entertainment of the, of the world, the fashions of the world, you become an enemy of God. Hallelujah. The highway of holiness. There is no such things of entertainment because they fight against our, our faith. They fight against our faith. They fight against our, the righteousness. They fight against holiness. They fight against puritiness. They fight against our good moral. When we are teaching children the good moral and telling them, this is the way that you should walk, children. The TV... The social media, the newspaper, the worldly books, the world is teaching them that this is the way that you should become as a child. You should be a superman. You should be a spider-man. 
You should be a Ben 10. Do you see that is evil? Fighting against our faith. When we tell our children, let us trust God. Let us trust God. Let us seek Jesus. They tell our children, use magic. Use witchcraft. Use this stick for witchcraft. They taught them to revenge, wrestling, war, fighting, revenge. You see? Bloodshed. They teach them bloodshed through action movies, killing, huh? criminals, and all those rebelliousness. And they teach them also how to slay. They teach them prostitution. They teach them immorality. Hallelujah. Amen. In the highway of holiness, no unclean thing, unclean program, unclean anything to hear or to see shall walk in that way. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Let us purify ourselves. Let us cleanse ourselves. Because God is saying there shall be a highway and it shall be called a highway of righteousness. It is time to build that way. Let us go in the book of Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18, 15. 18, 15. Jeremiah 18, 15. That is where I want us to read. Uh, the Bible says this. Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to worthless idols, and they have caused themselves to stumble in their own ways. From their ancient path, you see, they have, stum they have stumbled in, the, in their ways. And from the ancient path, to walk in a pathway and not to on highway. You see, they are walking in the pathways and not in the highway. Hallelujah. Amen. To make their land desolate and perpetual hissing. Everyone who pass by it will be astonished and shake his head. I will scatter them as with an east with, before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of the calamity. You see? Why? Because they have turned away from the highway of holiness. And they are now walking in, 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 in the pathways. Instead of the highway, they are walking in the pathways. Huh? Walking in those. Instead of walking in the pathway. In the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. They want to go there in their shortcut. The shortcut and uh, those crooked ways. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying that because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incest to worthless idols. They have caused themselves to stumble in their ways from the ancient path. Yes. To walk in the path you are not on highway. Therefore he say, I will show them my back and not my, my face in the day of the calamity. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. That is what happens when we walk in the pathways instead of the highway. Yeah. There are people who are not in they are not inside and they are not outside. You see? It's like they are stepping is outside and inside. In this way, you choose the way you make. Don't compromise. Don't become you are in the world and you are in the church. There is nowhere how you can hold Satan with this hand and Jesus in this hand. It's either you decide who you will go with. Amen. Hallelujah. It's either you decide who you will walk with. Hallelujah. It, yeah, it is not a way for the double-minded people. Amen? Amen? You need to be settled. That I am settled, this is the place, I am settled, this is the water that I want to drink. Don't mix with other water that you are going to drink this, going to this, going to this, you are receiving everything. You need to, 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 uh, to be inside, in the highway of holiness, not in the pathways, but be in the highway. Hallelujah! Sent out the way marching to the, with the people. The Bible says that God hates lukewarmness. People are, have lukewarmness. You are not cold, you are not warm. You are not cold, you are not warm. You are lukewarm. You are not in the world, you are not in the church. Amen? Amen. Little here, little here. That is lukewarmness. And lukewarmness is a sin. This is a sin. And that is why God is saying to them that I will show you my back and not the face in the day of the calamity. Because you have not walked in the way and in the ancient path. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Let us fear God and walk in the way of holiness and righteousness. There is restoration. There is the power of God in that way. Amen? Amen. Let us read Psalms 24, 3. Psalms 24, 3. As we are concluding. Psalms 24, 3. Psalms 24, 3. The highway of holiness. Psalms 24, 3. Mm -hmm. The Bible says this. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in the holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, he nor his soul deceit free, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your gates, O gates, and be lifted, O everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in, who is the king of glory, and the Lord, and the Lord the strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O your gates, lift up, lift up you everlasting door, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is, who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at that. Wonderful. That who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who may ascend? Who may join the highway of holiness? Who? may stand in his holy place who may stand in that highway of holiness and he say he who has the clean hand anybody that has the clean hand his hand does not uh, shed blood his hand does not point people his hand and his pure he has a pure heart he who has a clean hand a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to an idol yes to an idol it might not be the idol, the statue that people are worshipping. But you have, you have an idol in your house. A TV is your idol. Your phone is your idol. Your wife is your idol. Your child is your idol. Hallelujah. Amen. They are the people that will stand in the holy mountain of God. They are the people that will stand in his holy place, in the highway of holiness. They are the people that will walk with the Almighty God. He who has clean hand and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol. Get rid of all idol. Get rid of all idol in your life. Or so the desert free. The one that speak or swear lying. Amen. The swear lying. They cannot go in the highway of holiness. They cannot cry. They cannot ascend into the hill of the Lord. They shall receive now that person who is holy, who is clean, who has a pure mind, who, ha who does not lift up his, uh, 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 his soul to an idol, or who does not idolize things, who does not swear a, a lie. He shall receive the blessing from God and the righteousness from God of, this, uh, of, this, of his salvation. This is, the, is, this is Jacob and generation of they, those who seek God, who seek your face. Amen. They are people who seek the, the face of. And we say that the high of holiness, they are people who are seeking God. They, they only want to be with God. They want to be with Christ. They want to serve him. They want to be used. They want to walk in his way. And they say, this, this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him and host those who seek your face. They are they that walk in the highway of holiness. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Do you want to walk in the highway of holiness? Therefore, cleanse your, your heart. Don't become, uh, don't be found with any idol in your life. Don't lift up your soul to an idol. Your child to an idol. Your phone to an idol. Your tablet to an idol. Your TV to an idol. Your job, your business to an idol. If you want to walk in the highway of holiness, don't become a, a, an idolater. And he say, he who has a clean hand, the one who has the clean hand and a pure heart. They are they that will stand in the holy of the holies. They are they that will ascend into the heed of the Lord. Amen. Amen. There, there is a need to be pure. 
There is a need to be righteous. There is a need to be holy before God. For you to join in that way. For God says that he is holy. And like he is holy, you must also be holy. Because we are called with a holy calling. And our God is holy. And he say, like our God is perfect, therefore let us also be perfect. And he say, that without holiness and righteousness, no one shall see God. How do we want to walk or to, to see God when we are not walking in the highway of holiness? Hallelujah. Amen. Let us be pure. Let us tell God to cleanse our soul, our spirit, our mind, our heart, our life, our marriage, our everything that we do. Tell God to purify you, to sanctify you, so that you may be among they that are walking in the highway of holiness. For the Bible says they will be blessed they that will be walking in that highway of holiness. They that will be standing in the mountain of the Lord. They that will stand in the holy place of God. They shall be blessed. They shall be called the generation, the people of the people of Jacob. And they shall receive the blessing of God. Hallelujah. Amen. They shall become the burning bush over their life. Because they are cleansed by God and the power of God shall be over their life. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore let us cleanse ourselves from all impurity. Because you cannot join the highway of holiness when you are unclean. For the word of God has spoken unto us that there shall be a way. And this way shall be called the highway of holiness. And no unclean thing shall pass over that way. Hallelujah. Amen. A highway shall be there. And the Lord and it shall be called the highway of holiness. And the unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for, for the others. who Whoever walks the road or even or a fool shall not go, ast go in that way. No lion shall be there, or any ravenous beast go up in it shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk in there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their hand. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and signing shall flee away from them. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the way that connects to the kingdom of God, where there will be no sorrow, where there will be no tears again. For he say, they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sin signing shall flee away from them. They shall not cry again, no sorrow, no death, no persecution. They shall rejoice. They shall be crowned, crowned with, uh, with, 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 with gladness, with joy over their life. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the, holy, the, the highway of holiness that we are. We might be crying today because of the highway of holiness. For there, there is persecution in the highway of holiness. For there is rejection. There is hatred in the highway of holiness. But at the end, you see he say, they, sh they shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and signing shall flee away from them. Pain and sickness, death, rejection, hatred, all those things that we see, they shall not be normal there. They shall flee away. So let us persevere in the highway of holiness. Let us fight the good battle in the highway of holiness. Let us not be discouraged. Let us not backslide or lose this, uh, uh, this way. Because this is the path that leads to heaven. Amen? Yeah. The Bible says there is a way that seems good to a man's way. But at the end it is death, hell. But there is a way of holiness which does not seem good to many people. It does not seem to be many, many people. The world, does, the, world does do, uh, the world cannot love that way, but that is the good path. That is the ancient path, that there is restoration, there is the glory of God, there is everything that you need in holiness. You don't need to compromise for you to eat and drink. You don't need to compromise for you to get a wife, for you to get a husband. In the highway of holiness, there are, there are women, there are husband. Hallelujah. There is everything. There is job. There is eating and drinking in the highway of holiness. Amen. Every good thing and perfect things come from the highway of holiness. We don't need to, uh, to, to compromise. We don't need to look to the world or even to go back. Let us just maintain holiness. Maintain righteousness. Let us just remain obedient and faithful to God. And he will bring his blessing upon his people. Where he say? He will, uh, they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and signing shall flee away from them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us stand on our feet 
and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty Father, we come before you, Jehovah God, the Redeemer, the Lord of Lord, the God of they that walk in the highway of holiness, they that are redeemed, they that are delivered, they that are sanctified and washed by your word. Lord Jesus, we join, O oh God, in this spiritual way of the highway of holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty King of glory, clean our heart, clean our mind, clean our body, clean our life from all impurity in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you say that no unclean thing shall walk in that way. Jehovah, therefore, we want to pray, Jehovah, that you will cleanse us by the blood of Jesus and you will forgive us from all impurity, all unrighteousness, all unclean and abomination in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty Lord, we don't want to depend on our holiness, for our holiness before you is a fide, fide and wicked before you. But we want to depend on the holiness of you, of the perfectness of the blood of Jesus, of holiness of you, Jehovah. Lord, that you may make us to be holy by your word, by your spirit, in the name of Jesus. Mighty Jehovah God, connect us with the highway of holiness. They that have, oh, that have gone astray out of your way, I pray, Jehovah, that you may bring them back to the ancient path. Bring them back to the path of the prophets, to the path of the apostles, to the back, back to the path of the saints, of the highway of holiness. In the name of Jesus, your people need you, Jehovah. Your people are thirst of you. Mighty King of glory, I pray, Jehovah, let them connect themselves. They that are in hunger and they are thirsting for the highway of holiness. Lord, I pray, let the river of river, the river of the highway of holiness, the river of the washing of water, flow upon their life in Jesus' name. Flow upon every nation. Let there be a revival of high of holiness, a revival of holiness flowing to their life, flowing to every nation, to every continent, to every continent, to every nation, to every race in the name of Jesus. May they receive the, the fire of the high of holiness, the glory of the of holiness, the righteousness of, of holiness in the name of Jesus. Mighty Jehovah God, we pray Jehovah God that you will continue to walk with us. Father, feed us with your glory that you promise in the latter days. The glory in the highway of holiness, Lord, we pray that glory to be manifested to us in Jesus' name. For you said that all the flesh shall, manifest, shall, shall be revealed of your glory. Reveal your people your glory. Reveal your people your visitation, your power, O oh God, in Jesus' name. They that are still slaves, O oh God of worldliness, slaves of sin, I set you free right now in the name of Jesus. By the sword of the Spirit, I disconnect you from the path of the world, from the worldly way, from the broad way of Satan. In the name of Jesus, cleanse your people, purify them and separate them from the worldliness in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray through the glory of the Lord, through the grace of God, touch your people, cleanse them and purify them. Let them see your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, thank you, Lord Jesus. For you say, Lord, that you are preparing us for the kingdom of God. Where there is straight, uh, where there is no straight, uh, Lord, I pray there be straight in the name of Jesus. Where your people are, Lord, O oh God, I pray that you may lift them up in Jesus' name. Where there is no way, I declare that there be a way in the name of Jesus for the glory of the Lord. They that are sick, God, I pray that you may heal them. You may touch them and transform them in the name of Jesus. They that are their ministry, oh God, are crooked. I pray that you may straighten their ministry, their calling, and establish them once again in the name of Jesus. Remove every stumbling block and prepare their way in the name of Jesus for the glory of the living God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Remember us for the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
We do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let your will be done. Will be done. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done. We be done, let your will be done in my life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You may sit down in the mighty name of Jesus for the glory of the Lord. May God bless you. Get the end time writings of Apostle Simon Geshinga a humble end-time messenger with an apostolic wisdom of the word of God and end-times revelations, preparing the bride of Christ for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in complete holiness and graciousness. Go to Play Store Android application and search Apostle Simon Gishinga. Click and download the application. All messages are offline once you download them. Receive back the ancient word of God reviving the saints for the kingdom of God by inspired living word of God. Search Apostle Simon Gishinga on Play Store application. <laughs>